Okay, the question is how to integrate this right here, uh, x arctangent of x. Now, for personal preferences, I don't like to use this notation here. Uh, I prefer, in this case, arctangent over the inverse tangent. It means the same thing, it's just a different notation. But anyway, uh, moving on, uh, to, to solve something like this, the first thing that comes to mind is uh, integration by parts. And if you recall, integration by parts says if you've got two functions, u and v, that the integral of u v prime is equal to u times v minus the integral of u prime times v. Well, in this case, I think uh, if we say u is equal to arctangent uh, x, well, then that means u prime, as we know, is equal to 1 over 1 plus x squared. And then I'll say that u, uh, excuse me, v prime is equal to x, in which case v is equal to 1 half x squared. So let's see what happens. If we plug all this in, we get the integral of x arctangent x dx is equal to u times v, so that's going to be 1 half x squared arctangent x minus u v, uh, excuse me, minus u prime v, the integral of u prime v. So this integral is going to be, uh, so we know u prime is equal to 1 over 1 plus x squared, and we know that v is equal to 1 half x squared. So if we look at this second integral here, just this right here, uh, that's actually, a, uh, apparently, at the surface, that doesn't look very easy to solve, but if we take a look at it, and we say, well, hey, let's add one and then subtract one without changing the value of the thing. We can, uh, we can break this up a little bit and see that this just equals 1 plus x squared over 1 plus x squared, which is just 1, minus 1 over 1 plus x squared. And we see that this is just equal to uh, the integral of 1 minus 1 over 1 plus x squared dx. And the integral of this is just going to be equal to, the, the integral of 1 is just x. And the integral of negative 1 over 1 plus x squared, we know, is just equal to negative arc tangent x. And so this is the solution to that integral right there, that little, that little one in the entire expression. So if we go back to what we had, the integral of x arctangent x is going to be equal to 1 half x squared arctangent x minus 1 half, we can't forget that 1 half right there, uh, all of this stuff right here, x minus arctangent of x. So to simplify, this becomes 1 half x squared arctangent of x minus 1 half x plus 1 half arctangent x and plus c. We can't forget that because we have no limits on this thing. We need that plus c right there. And that should be correct. Do let me know if you have any questions.